I've been trading a $3 account with this boom and crash strategy. If you want to make money trading boom and crash, this strategy can help you out to try and catch these spikes right here. Hi, this is Courage and welcome to Trading with Tan. In this video, I'm going to show you this strategy that, I, that I've been using to trade this $3 account. And right now, this account is at around $10. So I placed one trade with the minimum load size and i made a profit of around seven dollars so right now i have ten dollars in that account so let me share with you the strategy and how you put the indicators on the screen and how you make money so first of all before i give you the strategy i want to talk about this when you're trading boom and crash if you want to trade with price action it's always best to go to the one uh, to the bigger time frame like the one hour time frame or like um the one hour time frame or like the four hour time frame the 30 minute time frame right but when you come to the smaller time frames like the five minute time frame or the one minute time frame i think the best way to trade this is not price action i've or i've always seen people doing this right here and then they mark out these zones thinking that these zones can work as support and resistance well sometimes it does but most of the time when you go to the higher time frame you're going to see that these zones are just very small zones which doesn't even uh, make sense as you can see right so the one minute time frame it's not best for you to trade boom and crash with price action so if you want to trade with the one minute time frame i think the best way is to use indicators so let me give you the indicators then the strategy and how you can use it right so let's go to the one minute time frame now once we are in the one minute time frame what we want to do is we want to insert the indicators so the indicators that we are going to use is the first one which is the rsi so let's go to indicators click this f button here go to main chart and then click on rsi relative strength index and on the levels you are going to put period 90 10 20 80 right and then you are going to put this style here to white you don't need it that's why you are going to put it on white and then you click done right and then you click done once you do this you are going to have your rsi right here there is no line there's just levels right and what we want to do next is we just want to go to indicators again and then go to the indicator window one don't click on the main chart go to the indicator window one once you do that you click on the indicator window one you find this indicator code the ichimoku kinko heel and then you click on there once you do this here are the parameters right first of all make sure you put p this the first one to five and then the second one to two i can't call these names man and then you go to the styles make sure you put the first the the up the up kumo to blue and then the down kumo to red and then you put all the others to the color of your background don't put them to white if your background is white and then if your background is black put them to black because you don't want to see them and then you click done right once you do this you're going to see that the ichimoku is going to go on top of the rsi right so we just use the rsi for the purposes of making sure that the ichimoku goes on this on this window here not on the main chart so that it won't disturb us right so here is how you place your first trade right first of all you want to make sure that if you are trading the boom market you are trying to catch the spikes you are, you are not going against it the spikes right so if you are trading the boom market you are always looking to buy if you are trading the crash market you are always looking to sell right so here is how you buy and how you sell right so this is the trade that we placed earlier and that you saw in the beginning of the video so the trade was exactly at this point uh, right here so i placed this trade right at this point right here and then the reason why is because the ichimoku had just turned red right here so let me explain this indicator right here i don't really understand deeply how it works to be honest with you but i've seen it to be very to be very very effective so here's what happens when this blue zone right here is go when the market is moving and then there is a blue zone on the ichimoku right here it simply means that the market 
is in an uptrend right because there is a blue zone right here you can see right here that means there is the market is in an uptrend right here and then when the market reverses right the ichimoku is gonna start changing direction and then it turns to red like right here like what happened right here you can see that the ichimoku have just turned red and then the market started to spike going down so what you do is you just wait for the market to turn from blue to red in a crash market make sure don't forget this in a crash market this is crash 500 you you buy you you only sell so you sell when the crossover happens with the ichimoku turning from blue going to red that's when you buy when you sell in the ichimoku so in this case you can see the crossover happened right here and then this was at this point somewhere at this point right here that's when i sold that trade and then you can see that later on we started getting spikes spikes with the market going down from this point right here from this point right here going all the way down because the ichimoku have just turned to a downtrend right so as you can see the market went all the way in a downtrend so for the exit you can you you you, you don't just exit with one spike when you get your first spike right you want to wait for the market to make another spike and then another spike until this line right here comes down to the level 20 or level 30 so you can put level 20 here or level 30 you you so let's say you sell right here you see these spikes you keep holding that trade until the market this line here goes all the way down to the level 20 so that's how you use the rsi right then right or you can just wait hold that market until it turns blue again so as you can see in this case if you had bought right here if you had sold at this point right here and then the market goes all the way down right you can wait for the ichimoku to turn into blue again which happened right here but it was almost the same as exiting at this point right here right so you can choose whatever you want to do between those right as you can see now the ichimoku went all the way up, up again the market is trending up and then here what happened next and then here you can see the ichimoku the crossover happened and then the market dropped and started dropping to the downside so this is a very effective strategy according to the few trades that i have placed so i will keep trading this and see what is going on so if you go ahead and trade this either on your real account or either on your demo account just make sure you come back to this video if you want to and then comment below this video and tell me if this strategy is working for you so far because i just started using this strategy and i'm hoping that it will keep working for me so as you can see when we are in a crash market we are only selling when we start getting uh this ichimoku into red and then we always make profits almost all, all the time and then if you change here and go to boom market if you go to the boom market that simply means it's the opposite right we will be buying when this turns red so as you can see for this case we have this was red and then it turns blue at this point right here and then you start buying and then when the ichimoku is is going in blue you are in profit so it can work on boom it can also work on the crash market all you want to do is you want to see a crossover once you see a crossover which happened in this case right here you buy and then when it goes up the market goes up you make money you close only when you close only when the ichimoku hits your upper level which in this case happened right here after this big spike right here you would exit the market so this is the strategy that i've been using to trade a very small account and to my surprise this strategy has been working for me right now so go ahead and test it and come back to the video tell me if you think this is a good strategy